Is the Terra Luna price going down by 30% or is it going to a dollar? There's conflicting statements in the market right now. I don't know what's getting ready to happen here. I'm going to show you guys the news. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the price chart. Let me spoil Let me give you a spoiler alert here. It's more likely to go down 30% right now than it is go to a dollar. However, I am meeting, by the way, behind the scenes with some developers on the Luna Classic ecosystem. And I'll be giving you some updates going forward. Uh, as we kind of break into what some of these do to create value to this Luna Classic blockchain. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And let's kick it off with the news first. Five days from now, the Terraform Labs case starts. And there is a prediction here that the Luna Classic price might drop around 30% because of what is going on. Uh, despite legal challenges, Terra Luna Classic is set to introduce its anticipated chain upgrade on the same day as the hearing. So there's a lot there's a lot of confluence happening right around that time. So uh, if we see a dip, we probably see a nice little spike in correction. However, there also is a short term outlook here from a couple of different places, among them Coin Codex and Wallet Investor, both indicating that they believe bullishly that Luna Classic should be up about six and a half percent. Um, and then for wallet investor, uh, they were also looking for another spike in the price. So, uh, long-term there's building going on in the background. Now, uh, bit screener has a, uh, an extremely bullish forecast and they say that it's going to surpass a dollar in 2024 and soar further to $4.69 in 2025. Uh, now, the site does believe that the price could collapse first um, uh, and also fall to an average in 2026 of 48 cents. This would fall in line with the collapse of the entire ecosystem uh, that we've had. This is about a, an 80% drawdown, I want to say. Uh, they're predicting using the old method of charting. So uh, they're, they're And then re returning to $2.20 in 2028. So it's looking through um the, the the crystal ball if you will and, and telling you that we could get to about four or five dollars now is that logically correct i don't think that it really is guys i don't want to be um i don't want to be bearish on it but while an investor also says four zeros seventy five fifty five uh you know it doesn't have a very bullish outlook on it long term so there's a lot of conflicting stuff going on out there additionally uh there is a an effort right now for the oracle rewards pull replenish and there are uh, a different way so there's a discussion to be had right there if you're interested in this type of information make sure you sign up to commonwealth now let's go check the price action and figure out can a man really burn his face like that guys i just burned my face so unbelievable okay for price action uh as you guys can see we're still kind of trending in this channel that i gave you before uh what does that mean that means that we probably are going to test uh, one more time on this move right here. Uh, nothing is, everything is fundamentally still in place right here. We got a nice bounce off of this, which would mean uh, that we've got upward momentum. Now, the question is, do we have a drop because of uh, Terraform Labs? Before that, if we do, that changes the paradigm of this and probably zooms it out just a little bit. Uh, you can kind of see that you make an argument that it's a little bit lower over here. Uh, you, you can certainly make that argument. Uh, and if you do with that, then a nice little breakdown uh, of some sort from there might be in the cards like you might be seeing that however for the moment it looks pretty bullish uh that we're going to have a retest up here at around the three zeros 24 range uh coming pretty soon it looks like in the patterns that that's what's up next and then another retracement back down to about 17 or 18 new paradigm with new investors here uh using this area right here most likely as our basis of support uh and, and resistance right down at 17360 in fact which breaks out to right over here uh, and then uh, if it's successful, successful retest, and we come up here and we start testing this 33 range, which again, I think the 33 range is coming pretty soon. Um, the market is continuing to be pretty bullish. We've had some 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 bearish retest back on, on the on the back end for Bitcoin and the rest of the open market uh, lost about three, four hundred billion dollars in in uh, uh, in investors. But they're coming back slowly, but surely we're up 80 billion dollars on the day. So USTC. Um, a little less of the same, more of, you know, just kind of testing this uh, range down here. As you can see, that broke down. Again, this is why I'm saying that both of these I put pretty aggressively. So it could be that these are just far less aggressive uh, as products go. And and most likely 
uh, due for a move down here, uh, probably lessening the goalpost, if you will. Uh, now, my my guess here was ten. Um, what was ten cents by the end of the year? So, if that's the case, then I'm probably looking at something along the lines of this right here, meaning that there might be some more low uh, pressure on uh, on on this part right here. Uh, also, let me close this little gap right here to where it's settling a lot more. So now you can see right here, we're probably uh, coming down just a little bit more on this price action. Uh, but I would expect to see another nice little spike coming because if you uh, grant here that we are in this sort of pattern, there is a breakout and there is a breakout momentum that would be on tap if this completes. So uh, that move would be up here to 3.7 or so cents and then boom, you know, possibly a breakout into that 10 cent range by the end of the year. But, you know, again, I'm not as bullish on USTC as the rest of it. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. Now let's check the news and let's figure out exactly what's going on in the rest of the market. All right, nothing up for governance proposals on uh, um, on station right now. Uh, the next one I think is probably going to be uh, the Oracle replenishment uh, volume way down, significantly down, by the way, and uh, uh, market cap up a little bit. Same thing for USTC, no changes over there and nothing really um, lighting it up over here. Uh, you can see that there are tokens continuing to build. Uh, so this is where I come in. And plug my stuff if you're not trading right now and you want to start trading and you want to start helping burn binance and weeks w-e-e-x there's a link in the description below sign up below uh to become a trader at weeks and start burning luna classic that helps the community there are two ways right now to effectively burn luna classic and those are the two real ways so uh go with those and uh you know hopefully this ends up being a nice little burn process remember we started with 6.9 trillion and we had actively 5.9 trillion. And now we have 5.7 trillion. So we've burned 200 billion of the supply. That's not a huge amount because we haven't done gigantic burns, but there's still been burns. So uh, to continue seeing those, uh, that's going to be fantastic, but it's going to take you helping. So let's get some people signing up at weeks down below and start trading today. And if we do that and this starts happening and we start really burning tokens, then you're going to start looking at, 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 at Luna Classic going to, I mean, dare I say a dollar? I said three cents, guys. I said three cents was going to be my prediction, 2.8 cents. But look, if we start burning a lot, then that number becomes higher and higher and higher. And we really haven't even talked about the repeg. And there is something in the works. So you might see something very, very soon. And we're going to have more on that later. But for now, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.